Hello. Good evening. I take this opportunity to welcome you back to our class. Today we are looking at Math Form 3, lesson number 1, a topic known as approximation and errors. Subtopic is propagation of errors. Our objective will be to find the percentage error in multiplication. So I will start by letting you know the things to understand before we embark on determining the percentage error in multiplication. One, the basics, basic knowledge that we need. Eh? We should understand how to obtain the absolute error in a given number. This is very, very important. We need to understand how we obtain absolute error in a given number. So I will give you various examples. If you have to be given a number like 21, 21 is a whole number. And let's say you have to be given 224, that's also another whole number. You have been given 9. You, you have been given 1329. These are examples of numbers. How will you obtain the absolute error in those numbers? As long as they are whole numbers, we will obtain the absolute error as a half times 1. As long as you are dealing with a whole number, the absolute error of a whole number will be a half of 1. Then this will give you what? 0 0.5. A half. So for instance, if you have 21 and you are looking for the maximum value and make a minimum value, or let's talk of upper limit and the lower limit, you will now add the, the 0 0.5 to 21 and you will change 21.5. And if you want to get the uh, lower limit, you will subtract 0 0.5 from 21, which will give you 20.5. So that's how we obtain maximum value, minimum value, or the upper limit, lower limit. That is for the whole numbers. So what if we have decimal numbers? For instance, 0 0.02, 0 0.9294. I can use those numbers as, as our example. How do you obtain the absolute error in 0 0.02 and in 0 0.9294? So we will, in this case, in the first case, we will be saying our absolute error is equal to a half times, you now start by saying 0 0.0, 2 being the last digit, you now put 1. So this, we will now get a half of 0 0.01, which will be 0 0.01. A half of 0 0.01 is 0 0.005. So this is the absolute error in 0 0.02. So how do you obtain the absolute error now? In this other number, which is 0 0.9294. We will take a half times, we now come and say 0 0.000, for being the last digit in our case, we will now put 1. So this is the number we transfer down here and say 0 0.0001. A half of 0 0.001 will give us 0 0.0005. So 0 0.00005 becomes the absolute error of this number, which is 0 0.9294. So it's good that you understand on how to obtain absolute errors in the given numbers. Number two, what we need to understand is relative error. So how 
have we find relative error in a given number? I will give you an example. You can think of 9.495. So that's our number. How, we will start by looking at the absolute error in 9.495. So we will say absolute error is equal to a half times, so we come here and say 0 0.0. 0, 0, 5 times the last digit we put one, so that's what we transfer down here. We will add a half times 0 0.001 being equivalent to 0 0.0005. So this is our absolute error. Therefore, I want us to know how we can get relative error now that we have absolute error. We will come down here and say. is equals to absolute error this is absolute is good that I write a complete statement that is absolute error of the actual value so in this case our absolute error is 0 0.0005 divided by the actual which is 9. Point Four nine five. So we will write zero point zero 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 five divided by nine point four nine five, giving us zero point zero 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 five two six six. So that becomes our relative error. Finally, once you have the relative error, how do we get the percentage error? Percentage error is relative error times 100 percent. Therefore, in this case, we will take our relative error as 0 0.0005266. We multiply it by 100 percent. So this will be 0 0.005266 percent. So those are the things that we need to understand. First of all, we should be able to find the absolute error of given numbers. We should be able to find the relative error. We should be able to find the percentage error. Now, which is our objective? Determining the percentage error in multiplication. So that's where we are heading now that we know the basic uh, knowledge that is required. So we will directly go to example one. Find the percentage error in, then we can think of a number which is 4.29 times 0 0.039. Solution. Let's go to the other side. We will write 4.29. Then we find the upper limit of 4.29 and the lower limit. Upper and the lower limit. As I said earlier, we should determine the absolute error of 4.29, which will be 0 0.01 above that. So you will see me doing this, saying absolute error is equal to a half of 0 0.01 this will give you 0 0.005 so this is what we add in 4.29 we get 4.295 we again subtract 0 0.005 from 4.29 we get 4.285 the other number we have here is 0 0.0 0 0.039 upper and lower Absolute error. We will start by saying 0 0.001. Therefore, our absolute error becomes a half of 0 0.001. Half of 0 0.001 becomes 0 0.0005. Now, this is what we add to our number, which is 0 0.039, to get the upper limit, which is 0 0.0005. 
0.395. Let the lower limit, we subtract 0 0.005 from 0 0.039. We obtain 0 0.0385. That's the first step. So, once we obtain that, we will now find the actual value. The actual value means you now multiply directly the numbers that you are given, uh, which will be 4, 4.29 times 0 0.039. 0 point actual value is uh, 4.29 times 0 0.039, which is giving us 0 0.16731. Let's find maximum value. Maximum value, we will take the upper limit. This is the upper limit. This is also the upper limit. So we multiply the upper limit. So we will have 4.295 times 0 0.0395. It will give us 4.295 times 0 0.0395. 0 0.16. 96 and 525. Minimum value. We now take the lower limit. We multiply by the upper lower limit. So this is what we take to give us the minimum. This is what we take to give us the maximum. So minimum now will be 4.285 times 0 0.0385 which will give us 4.285 times 0 0.0385. I'm getting 0 0.16.49725. So once you obtain, you obtain all that, you can come back here now very fast. We say absolute error is given by maximum value Minus the actual value, then uh, we add the actual value minus the minimum value, then we divide by 2. So this will be, we can take maximum value, in our case, maximum value is 0 0.16, 96, 5, and 5. We subtract actual value, which is uh, 0 0.16. 0 0.16731. We now add the actual, which is 0 0.16731. We subtract the minimum 0 0.16497.5. And we now we divide everything by 2. So this will give us what? 0 0.16965.5. We subtract 0 0.16731, we will get 0 0.0023425. We add 0 0.16731 minus 0 0.16.9725. We get 0 0.0023375. Then we add those two, we divide by two. So this will give us 0 0.0023425 and divide by two. I'm getting 0 0.00234. That's our absolute error. We need to find the percentage error very fast. So our percentage error becomes the, up, the, the zero. We are talking about percentage error which is 0 0.00234 that is the absolute error we divide by the actual which is 0 0.16731 10 times 100 remember when you divide these two you get relative error relative error times 100 per percent so finally we will now divide that one that is 0 0.00234 divided by 0 0.16731 times 100 which will give me 1.3986 percent. Thank you for listening to me. See you next time. Bye.